Hi everyone and welcome to Casa Caribe. My name is Laura, I'm a fashion designer and natural dyer. In this video I'm going to show you how to bond and dye using marigold flowers. Stick until the end because I'm going to give you some tips and advice to get the best colors when you bond and dye. So bundle dye is a natural dye technique that can be used with different flowers, herbs and different dyeing materials. But in this video we're going to use marigold flowers. We're going to use some dry marigold flowers and we're also going to use fresh marigold flowers. So the first thing you're going to need when bundle dye is your fabric. Here I have cotton and this cotton has already been pre-treated and mordanting. If you don't know what mordanting is, on my website, I have a blog which I explain everything of how to more than a cellulose fabric like this one. Remember that with dyeing with natural colors, you will need a natural fabric. A natural fabric can be cotton, linen, but also silk and wool. Here I'm using 100% cotton. But here is a tip. If you want more bright and crispy colors, I recommend to use silk because protein fabrics tend to give more bright color. So this technique, I think it works perfect with silk. But here I'm going to use cotton because cotton is a very easy to find fabric. So we're going to stand our fabric in our table like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the petals of the marigold and we're going to pour them on the fabric. You can create a pattern or you can just put them because at the end you're just going to get something that you never imagine. So we can take the petals like this and we just pour them all over the fabric. It doesn't matter if you have yellow or if you have orange because at the end it's all going to give you a very orangey yellow. So it doesn't matter if you're using different petals right now. When you are using marigold, I always tend to keep the seeds because then you can plant them the next year. If you don't know how to plant marigold flowers, I have a video in which I explain how to plant them from the seeds. I'm going to leave the link on the description down below. So I'm just going to keep these seeds. Now I'm going to take another petal and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to open. I'm just going to remove some of the seeds. You don't have to remove all of them because sometimes it's difficult to get. And like this, we remove the seeds. Uh, so almost all of the seeds are going to be inside. This is full of marigolds for next year. And then the petals, we're just going to put it here. Try to cover all the holes. And also here. And as I say, we're also going to use some fresh flowers, like this. With the fresh flowers, you can cut them right here. And you can put them like this. So you're going to have uh, like one flower that way. I'm going to put three of them. Okay. 
If you want, you can also use some onion skins or turmeric. If you want to know what different materials you can use, I also have another video in which I bundle dye with different food waste that I have at home. So now I'm going to cover a little bit more. Now I'm going to put some onion. Very, very few pieces of onion just to give a different type of color and I'm going to cut them in the pattern. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close like this It's better if you go very, very, very close. So the dye stuff, in this case the marigold, are in very strict contact with the fabric. So just go there. Here, when you have a petal, just go very, very, very tight. So now we have this and we can close in a different ways. So I have a video, as I said before, in which I try different ways to do it. For example, we can close like this and then like this. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to tie the fabric very, very, very tight. I'm going to use uh, cotton string like this I like to use cotton string because you will get a lot of colors so you can use it to do something else so we're going to start here very 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 tight If you're doing this tie, it means that the dye stuff, which is in this case the marigold and the onion skin, is going to be very, very close to the fabric. So here. I'm going to end here. Okay, so now we have the first one. And I'm going to do another one using a more thick cotton. You will notice that the color is going to change a little bit. As I said before, this fabric is also pre-treat and more than. So in this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do, use some of the dry marigolds.
So for the second step of bundle dye, we're going to need an electric hob like this one, a pot, and a steamer. We're going to put it on the bottom, and then we're going to add water, just regular water from the tap. And we're going to put our fabric inside. When you have a color that you like, for example, I'm really happy with how this yellow turned out, you can then turn off the heat and let the fabric cool before opening it. So now that the fabric is cool, we're going to open it.
So now I've already washed the fabric and let it dry. And you can see that even after dry, you still have a very bright colors. This one is one of them and I'm using the other one. So as I promised at the beginning of the video, here I'm going to tell you some tips and advice to get the best of the ball and dry. So the first one is always use 100% natural fabric. When you go to the shop to buy fabric, you normally see that fabric has a percentage of polyester inside or acrylic. Try to buy one that is 100% cotton or 100% linen. If you have fabric at home and you are not sure if it's natural or synthetic, I have a video in which I explain how to differentiate a fabric that is natural and synthetic. I'm going to leave the link on the description down below. So my second advice is always more than amplitude the fabric. More than thin the fabric for natural dye or for bonded dye is really important because this is the thing that allows the color to enter the fabric and to stay the fabric for longer. So this means the color is not going to fade and the color is not going to wash away when you wash the first time. If you don't know how to more than fabric, don't worry because on my website you will find step by step all the instructions on how to more than send those fabric. So my third advice is don't throw away all the petals that you use because they still have a lot of color inside. So you can use it to dye a fabric again or you can use it to make lake pigments then to make watercolor with them. And the last advice and I think the most important one is have fun. Don't be afraid to experiment with different flowers, different positions, different fabrics and different steam time. With this technique every time you are going to get a result that is completely new and this is the beauty of bundle dye. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question about natural dyes, feel free to comment down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.